Hey, this is Professor Perez. In this video, we are going to combine like terms. But before we get started, we need Charlie. He better be ready to go. Hey, Charlie, today we're combining like terms. Are you ready? Okay, let's get started right there. One plus one. Charlie, what is it? You better not miss this. Two. That's right, it's two. Okay, Charlie, what's one X plus one more X? Two X's. Very nice there, Charlie, that's two X. Now, what's X times X? Be careful, Charlie. It's X times X. What is it? X squared. Very nice there, Charlie. Okay, I guess you've been studying, huh? All right. Now, two plus three is five. So, Charlie, what's two X's plus three more X's? Five X's. That's right, it's five X. Now, Charlie, what's two sevenths plus three more sevenths? Five sevenths. That's right, five sevenths. There you go. So, these three problems here only require that you have the ability to add two plus three, because two and three are like terms. Two X's and three X's are like terms. Two sevenths and three sevenths are like terms. Notice two plus three is five, two X plus three X is five X, and two sevenths plus three sevenths is five sevenths. So, if you know what your like terms are, it's just basic arithmetic. Okay, so let's look at this one. Five plus three subtract two. Charlie, what's five plus three subtract two? Six. Very nice there, Charlie, at six. Now, Charlie, what's five elevenths plus three elevenths subtract two elevenths? Six elevenths. That's it, six elevenths. Very nice there, Charlie. Now, bring us home, Charlie. What's five A plus three A take away two A? Six A. Very nice there, Charlie, that's it just requires that you have the ability to do 5 plus 3, which is 8, subtract 2, which is 6, and that's it. They're all like terms here. Okay, let's look at this problem. 2x plus 3x plus 2 plus 4. Everything is being added, so remember, we can go in any order we want. This is important, so pay attention to this. We can do 2x plus 3x, which is 5x, and we can add the 2 and the 4, which is 6. We can do this because everything is being added. So we get 5x plus 6, that's our answer. Now, here it comes. Here we have 2x plus 3x subtract 2 plus 4. We work left to right. 2x plus 3x is 5x, and we bring down our work. Now, notice we have 5x subtract 2 plus 4. Order of operations says, hey, when you have additions and subtractions, you must work left to right, whichever comes first. Well, the subtraction is coming first, right? So we have 5x subtract 2, but you cannot combine those. They are not like terms. Excuse me. You can combine those if you want to repeat the class. All right, anyway, you cannot combine those, right? And so, how do we get around this? Well, remember, the only time we can go out of order is when everything is being added. So now, what we're going to do is we're going to change that subtract to to adding a negative to. Remember that adding negative numbers business? Well, here it comes. All right, so we're going to rewrite this as 5x plus a negative 2 plus 4. Now we can go out of order. So we can say 5x plus negative 2 plus 4 is a positive 2, and there's our answer, 5x plus 2. So be careful. A lot of people make a mistake here and think that the answer is 5x subtract 6. Remember, that'll get you another semester of this class. All right, Charlie, let's do another one here. 5a subtract 3 subtract 3a. Again, we have subtractions. We're supposed to go left to right, but you cannot combine 5a subtract 3, right? unless you want to repeat the class with him. What? Never mind, Charlie. All right. So we have 5a subtract 3 subtract 3a. We're going to rewrite this as 5a plus a negative 3 plus a negative 3a. And sometimes we just visualize this step in our mind and we just do it. But you got to practice before you start doing it, right? You can't start kung fu until you know what you're doing. So write out all your steps in the beginning. Now, we have everything being added so we can go out of order. We have 5a plus a negative 3a, which is 2a. And bring down our work, plus a negative 3. And so we have 2a. Remember, adding a negative 3 is the same as subtracting a positive 3. And so our answer is 2a subtract 3. And that's it. All right, let's do some more here. 7x subtract 5. Pay attention, Charlie. Subtract 3x, subtract 2, subtract x. We have all these subtractions. We're supposed to work left to right, but we are going to get around that by writing all these subtractions as adding negative numbers. So we have 7x plus a negative 5 plus a negative 3x plus a negative 2 plus a negative x. And now we can add these in any order we want. So let's do the x's. 
7x plus a negative 3x is 4x, plus a negative x is 3x. Now let's do our numeric values. Negative 5 plus a negative 2 is a negative 7. And notice we have 3x plus a negative 7. And remember, adding a negative 7 is the same as subtracting a positive 7. So that's our final answer, 3x subtract 7. There we go. Now look at this problem here. Don't get scared. Just rewrite or visualize all those subtractions as adding negative numbers. Just like this. We have 2a plus a negative b plus a negative 8b plus a plus a negative 4a plus 3b plus a negative 4. Now let's combine our like terms. Notice we have all these a's. 2a plus 1a is 3a subtract 4a is negative 1a. How do we write negative 1a? Just like that. We don't have to put the 1 there. Remember, negative 1 times a can be written as just negative a. That was the opposite business, right? Plus, now let's do our b's. We have negative b plus a negative 8b, that's a negative 9b, plus a 3b is a negative 6b. And let's bring down our plus a negative 4, and there's our answer. We just need to remove those parentheses. The first term does not require the parentheses. It's the leading term. It's negative a. Now we have plus a negative 6b. Remember, adding a negative number is the same as subtracting its opposite. So it becomes subtract positive 6b, and plus a negative 4 becomes subtract a positive 4. So there's our answer. Negative a subtract 6b subtract 4. So that was a good lecture. We'll see you again soon.